Hi and welcome back to Get Jervis Gets Modular for Toman Synthesizers. The question is, am I going soft? Stay tuned for some exciting developments. Well, hello there and welcome back to part three of Get Modular with me, Get Jervis, on the Toman Synthesizer channel. If this is your first episode, welcome to part three. You have two episodes to catch up on. This is my journey into the land of modular. I am a novice guiding my way through to learn better all that is modular in the land of modular. So after being left scratching my head at the end of the previous episode, wondering why I couldn't get things working, I decided to put the training wheels back on this project and go back to the basics in a software environment. So this is something that you can do at home. So I recommend if you've not tried Software Modular, download yourself Native Instruments Reactor Session plus the Bento Box, which comes completely free of charge. It will not cost you anything. So if you are interested in Modular, and modules cost a lot of money when you start stacking them up, uh, this will cost you nothing and it will give you the experience in a very safe and free environment. Go check it out. Bitwig Studio 3, the audio workstation or DAW, also has modular as standard. So if you're thinking of switching DAW, go check that out because that's definitely worthwhile. Plus there's SoftTube modular, which again, works on any platform and is a plugin and it gives you dope for modules, uh, mutable modules, IntelliJ. So these are software versions of the modules that you can buy off the shelf. So that's also worth checking out. Anyway, we, for this instance, are going to use the free version of Native Instruments Reactor. So we are going to try and recreate a very vanilla synth. For this purpose, I'm using Reaper, which you can also try trial for free, or you can pay a license for, again, not much money. So open up your door. Select Reactor, and importantly, select Patch. What this gives you is the basic ins and outs for your door. So, as you can see, my MIDI keyboard is triggering the note in there nicely, so that's working. But you're not hearing anything because there's no module. So, let's open up the bento box. I do like that. So, block space. Bento box, you will just probably see that on yours. I've got the full version installed where you get a whole bunch of other more juicy modules, but I'm not going to show you those. Not this time. And here we are. As you can see, that's enough. So let's start with an oscillator. There it is. So again, nothing. So much like you'd have to do with, <laughs> with a modular, you have to patch it. So. So audio in, audio out, note in. So let's take the pitch out and plug it into the pitch here. Let's take the audio out and plug it into, oh, hello, here. Sound. But it doesn't stop playing. It's a continuous tone because that's exactly what I've asked it to do. I've not sent it a signal to, to, uh, to control the volume. So let's add an amplifier to that. And that's right at the top. Let's patch the audio out and into the amplifier. But now let's make it stereo. Beautiful, okay. So, this is where I came stuck last time. I understood the audio throughput, and of course, having only had experience with semi-modular stuff, that's always patched to work. Um, and like I say, I've known since an awfully long time. Modular, it, it, it takes everything out and splits it up, and you have to make those connections yourself. So let's add an envelope. Now, I'm gonna connect the gate up to that, so that now triggers, that opens the gate but I need that to be rooted to the amplifier to then modulate that. So if I go out and into modulation point A, I then click A here and it gives me a little, <laughs> it's not obvious, but a little thing on the side there which I can then say how much. If I, I put it max it, 
There it is. It works. Gating via an envelope. So obviously I can sculpt that a bit more. I can play with ADSR. And it's, as you can see from there, it really is a, an incredibly visual. So as an educational tool, something that will help you learn the very basics of modular, this is a really, really powerful free bit of software. So dipping your toes into modular, thinking about doing it, already done it, scratching your head, download this. You can play with things and save them. Work out how things work with actually getting your, your patch cables out. That's the basics right there. But again, we are trying to recreate a very basic synth, a vanilla synth. So let's add a filter. So this is just patching the audio from the oscillator into the filter, then into the amplifier. And of course, low pass means that you go too low and you get nothing. Subtractive synthesis, folks. It's a real thing. Not very exciting. Let's change from a sine to a square. Let's add some more modulation in the form of an LFO, shall we? And we can use that to modulate the filter. Remember, at this point, to select what you want to modulate by the low frequency oscillator. So I will use the, the cutoff. And as you can see, it's already doing something because it's independently just moving. So. The amount you modulate is set here, so. I quite like that. You can adjust the shape here. A ramp, saw. Where's my square? Oh, random. Found the random. Let's modulate the pulse width. That's too low, that's too low. Okay, probably too much pulse width modulation there. But quite nice, you know, I mean, <laughs> get creative. You can put as many of these in as you want. I just want to try and give you a flavor of what you can achieve uh, for free. I think we've got a step sequencer in there as well, which definitely clock, you can clock that to the sequence you're in there. But ultimately I think, you know, you've got the basic building blocks there to be able to do anything that you could do in modular without having to spend hundreds of euros or pounds or dollars per module. So in a way, you can, you can build your, mod, your ultimate modular system in the comfort of your own home, on your sofa, on your laptop with your headphones on, and then realize, do you need this, this, and this? If you want to take it to the next level, you can obviously fork out for the reactor full version or even the soft tube and actually experience what the dope for modules, the IntelliGel, the Buchla, um, the Mutable Instruments, what those will do for your sound because there's some quite esoteric modules out there. I hope you enjoyed that and find it useful. Um, yeah, it's something you can do for free. So enjoy that. I'm gonna play out with uh, some, uh, a couple of the patches that are available as part of the bigger reactor just so you can get a flavor of what your hard earned cash will get you, but definitely go check out Native Instruments, uh, Soft Tube as well, and, uh, and Bitwig. Go check those guys out. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Remember, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and enjoy. Until the next time, get modular.